So today I show you the tier portal copilot and what we want to do is to create an SCL block that analyzes if one of the alarm bits in this array um, is true and if one of them is true then we want to have this alarm exists written to true as well. Um, so first of all what, um, what we want is that we have um, a block that analyzes the array yeah, so we say that um, in an array of bool, all alarms are collected, and if one is true, then it should the result should be true. Okay, so we type it in here in the copilot, and then we already see that we get a result here with the code. And what we can easily do is then to say, okay, thank you, and create a block in the PLC. Then we take a second and takes a second, and we can already have a look here on the code. Um, it's yeah quite fast, and we already see that um, the code here was created. And um, yeah, but then we see that we have errors here. And thing here is that the lower bound and upper bound here gives. Um, a double int as a return value and we see that the i is created as an int so we can we need to change this we could do it manually but you can also say that um, yeah please change the data type of int to double int then let's see if that works Okay, so we get the new code here, defined as a double int, and then we'll see what's happening here. So the copilot prints out the code here. Yeah, update the, co the code in the block, yes. Let's do it. So sometimes it changes the code directly in the tier portal. Sometimes it asks again. So it depends. And now we see that we don't get any errors anymore. So that's great. And um, yeah, so finally we would like to get this block working with our real array. Yeah, and that's where we say, okay, please call this block and use the alarms from the data block data and write the result to alarm exists to the real data block. Okay, so he understands that we want to have the real data block. And then we already get the code and get it created here. And then we see that here we have the Boolean alarms array is defined until 10. Yeah, so I change it here to 100. So it was not perfectly created. But if I change this, then we also have no errors here. And we get the result that we did expect. So the copilot could really help us here. It was quite quick. Good solution, not perfect. But I think um, if you start, with SCL, if you're not absolute perfect expert, um, and if you want to speed up things, don't write anything on your own, then it really helps you. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.